Howdy! Today we're going to make a graduation card. We're going to use these three dies and these papers. We're going to use this ink and a portion of this sponge to create a cloudy background. And we're going to use the transparency film to help us make our stencil. We're going to take this die cut and black cardstock to make a silhouette of some graduates. We've already placed its adhesive sheet on the back of our cardstock. This makes it easier to stick the graduates onto the card base without having to worry about any gluing. We're going to take this gold cardstock and the word celebrate. We're also going to die cut that three times. It's going to be our sentiment on the front of the card. We're going to take some acetate sheet. You could cut as long as it's basically about the size of your edge die cut, you'll be fine. It doesn't have to be this wide, but it has to be at least this long. What you'll do is you'll take the edge die cut and adhere it just with washi tape or a painter's tape or anything just so long as you make sure that it doesn't move while you're die cutting it and we're gonna actually do it on both ends of the acetate sheet so we take our acetate sheet lengthwise it's six and a quarter and widthwise doesn't really matter that's up to your preference Now that it's adhered, we can now run it through our die cutting machine. I like to run it through the die cutting machine a couple of times to make sure that we have a good line of the die cut. It does look like we cut our piece a little long so all we'll have to do is take our paper trimmer or a pair of scissors to cut along that line. Now that your stencil is done and your die cut sentiments and graduates are done, 
You've only got one step left before you can finish putting this card together. Which is why I've brought out my Make Art Station. You'll of course need your white cardstock or whatever color cardstock you're going to use as a base and your stencil. I like to use a sponge to create the sky with ink of course. But I don't necessarily need to use this whole sponge. So I cut it up into sixths. Basically you just eyeball how much is half. Then you take this half away because you don't need it. Then what I like to do is cut this into thirds. Then you'll only need this portion of your sponge to help you create your sky. We're going to take our sponge, our cardstock piece, our stencil, and our ink to make the sky. I like to use the magnets to help me keep my stencil in place. Just ink up your sponge and ink up your sponge and just brush it onto the stencil and make sure it gets on the cardstock piece. And I just like to rotate my stencils so the clouds don't look so uniform. Now that we've got our sky done, we can complete our card. Of course, you'll want to clean off your stencil. You can do that in any way you like. You don't need your Make Art Station anymore. Now we've got our three graduate die cuts. We're just going to layer them. If you wanted to, you could cut as many graduate as you want, as you like, to make the card front as full as you wish. I just like to use my Spellbinders tool-in-one to help take the adhesive off of the back of the die cuts.
you could just go with the single layer for the graduates or but in this case I'm going with the triple layer just to add some dimension So there you go, there are our graduates. Now we just want to put the sentiment on the top. This is mainly why we do the adhesive sheet on the back of the cardstock because this is fair, it's somewhat delicate and you did, wouldn't want to mess up your sentiment by having any adhesive um, sticking out. As you can see, the empty space in the E didn't pop out, so we're going to use the pointy stick. I like to use my T-square with my sentiment die cut to make sure that it's straight. And again, we're going to use three die cuts because we want to add a bit of dimension to this card. If you wish, you could always add some more dimensions to the front of the card, but I kind of like it like this. So the only thing left is to actually place this on a card base because this is a card front. So I always cut my card fronts down to an A2 size and I always pre-score before I create the card. Holding the card down, I just like to use a bone folder. And if it's got a little bit of bumpiness to it, then I just turn, close it up the other way. Now all I have to do is glue this to the card base and write my little sentiment inside. I hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy, stay crafty. Have a wonderful day. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. You can find similar dies to what I used on today's card in the description box below. They will direct you towards links 